Yo, what's going on YouTube? I am Germ here. As you guys can see up on the screen today, I want to talk a little bit about SoFi stock once again. It seems like, you know, we've been doing almost daily videos uh, for the past couple of weeks for SoFi stock. It seems like people have really been enjoying them. So obviously I want to keep, you know, rolling with it. And I think this stock is very, very interesting because not only is it pretty volatile, you get to, there's a lot of like entertaining up and down movement in the overall stock price, which obviously um, people kind of gravitate towards, you know, it's not a boring stock, you know, just even as far as the ticker price. It is an interesting one to follow, um, but also there's so much news going on behind the scenes. There is so many big announcements that are coming in 2022, um, and obviously no one knows for sure if these announcements are going to be, you know, smash hit successes that explode the stock price, if they're going to be underwhelming, if they're going to underdeliver, if they're just not going to be as exciting as people think, um, but there will be a lot of different stories and stuff to at least talk about, which um, will be really, really fun. It's one reason why I like, you know, just covering and talking about the stock so much. Um, but uh, SoFi Stocks, what we're going to be talking about in this video today, uh, we have a couple different articles, what some people are saying, and then some news coming from the subreddit as well. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate that a ton. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content, and consider checking out the first link in the description below for the Patreon uh, that we have on this channel. Every dollar that goes into the Patreon goes into the YouTube portfolio that we track weekly on this channel. Um, with that being said, let's get right into this. So um, yesterday was a pretty important day for SoFi because uh, it was actually its first green day of the year. When we go to the year to date, um, you know, we're down 11.6%. This thing has just been going down and down and down and down. But then yesterday we had this one update. We finally had a green day. It was great. Um, and then today right back into the red now obviously not crazy red just a half percent down but again uh this is a half percent down after we're already down um you know 11 12 percent year to date 2022 so far has not been amazing for sofi but it hasn't been great for the stock market in general there's a lot of stocks that are you know aren't doing so well especially more speculative plays especially companies that are not profitable right at the moment like sofi but one a little bit concerning thing to me is the fact that the overall stock market did pretty well today you know the dow jones was up only a little bit. S&P was up only a little bit. And the NASDAQ was up only a little bit. Yes, the Russell kind of got crushed today. So kind of rough for the smaller cap stocks. But the markets were up today and SoFi was down. And that's not necessarily anything you ever love. That's not ever a great sign. You'd like to see, um, you know, your, your plays, uh, you know, doing a little bit better on those days the stock market is green. But uh, I still don't think it's the end of the world. Obviously, SoFi is a very, very much, you know, speculative long-term play where the day-to-day, -day, even week-to-week, -week, possibly even month-to-month -month price, price action you know, doesn't really mean as much. But uh, some of the good news coming out today, some of the stuff that people are talking about right now is the fact that SoFi is among Bloomberg's 50 stocks to watch in 2022. Obviously, Bloomberg is a very, very, um, you know, big and reputable source that uh, people go to for a lot of stock and financial information. Um, so this is, you know, a, a great time for SoFi and, and what they have going on to get out to more and more people. Um, and I think it's a good thing. You know, it's just more and more people being aware of what's going on with SoFi. Their commentary here is is um, as the first U.S. online only bank or neo bank to go public, SoFi Technologies distinguishes itself from bigger rivals with an app that combines banking, investing, budgeting, rewards, cards, and loan management all in one place. With 3 million users, SoFi isn't the largest of its kind, and you know that can be said to be a good and a bad thing. Yeah, it's not the biggest, but that means it has more potential room for growth. And if it does get to the growth and explosive, um, you know, growth numbers that we think it maybe could over the next five, 10 years, um, obviously, you, you know, you have a chance to to really ride that all the way up. Obviously, there is much more risk and stuff being involved since it's not the largest. But um, the good news here is that it does have the most comprehensive offerings, at least according to Bloomberg, um, generating a diverse uh, revenue stream that's growing almost 50% a year. Massive, massive growth. Uh, its lending business appears undervalued and amid greater demand for personal loans as economic stimulus funds run out, a broad focus on home loans, and the anticipated return of student loan refinancing uh, by the second half of 2022. That is a big, big, big thing in my opinion. Um, after a more than two-year payment freeze, if it even gets unfrozen in May, you know, who knows? It could easily get pushed back again. It's got pushed back like five or six times already. Uh, most competitors are still in the planning phase for a loan business, but SoFi's is a key reason the company is profitable um, despite its continued spending on growth. Uh, and with regulatory approval of its banking license, earnings this year could significantly top the company's forecast. Um, Julie Chariel uh, wrote that one as well. Um, they were saying... <coughs> Yeah, they were saying that it, I don't know, that place said it's profitable. I'm pretty sure it's not profitable, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know why they said that. Yes, definitely not profitable. Their earnings are negative. They have, you know, revenue coming in and everything, and, th and those numbers are growing, but 
um yeah definitely not a profitable stock at this point um they did have another post uh on the subreddit as well talking about well this is just another article i want to talk about we'll get to the subreddit post in a second but um the dip in sofi technology stock is an opportunity for brave investors i've already shown a little bit on my channel that investor place um is very very bullish or at least seems to be very very bullish on sofi stock you know a couple of different contributors and everything um but they do talk about here the bottom line on sofi stock is at this point sofi stock earns a b rating in their portfolio grader uh the score is a strong indicator that the stock is positioned to deliver long-term growth uh, the investment analysts pulled by cnn business agree with this they rate sofi as a consensus buy their median 12-month price target of 24 dollars offers a very tempting 75 percent upside even the lowest price price target set by those analysts 18 dollars offers more than 30 percent upside again right now um, I think I closed out. Yeah, I actually closed out the SoFi stock tab, but yeah, we're sitting right around $14. So, um, you know, being able to go from 14 to 18, 14 to 24, those could be very, very big moves and big jumps in just a single year. Uh, mind you that median price target of $24 is less than $1 higher than SoFi stock June 18th of 2021 and less than $1.50 off its November 12th price. This suggests that analysts are looking at those peak closes as being closer to where, where SoFi stock should be trading. Again, even though it's kind of sold off, obviously since June, since even November, you know, even in the last two months. Um, but still, that doesn't mean some analysts don't think that, uh, you know, it could be unfairly undervalued right now, especially as more and more good news and, and stories kind of come out for SoFi. Um, not a lot's changing uh, with the stock, in, at least in the negative direction as the stock price continues to, to plummet. They did have this post talking about the possible sign of options to come. And it was a LinkedIn uh, post or like, you know, job offering, job post, whatever, um, about hiring somebody for um, like margin and options experience or I don't know, some kind of financial, you know, analyst side, back end, whatever. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but it said, you know, it was essentially a job posting for something to do with margins and options. Um, so there are obviously this person was asking a possible sign of options coming soon. A lot of people are saying this is old news, but uh, obviously this guy and I'm sure some other people didn't necessarily know about this stuff. Um, there have already been some postings and stuff about um, SoFi either offering margins or very, very soon offering margins. I know people have shown on their apps and stuff um, having the availability of some of those things the one thing is that yeah options have still not been available but um, obviously they've been in the hiring process and been diving into this stuff as much as they can some people are wondering hey is that stuff like that going to come uh, at the same time as like the bank charter is it going to come shortly after the bank charter if that ever comes you know to hopefully get better rates and and be able to offer that stuff you know overall better to their customers um, we're not exactly sure but yeah just understanding that margin and options do seem very very likely to come I don't know when we we assume or hope sometime in 2022 for SoFi, um, but for sure within the next couple of years, it at least seems very very possible um, and very very likely. And it seems like they are going through a lot of those steps to do those things. They're hiring the people, they're finding out information, they're they're putting all the applications and everything they need to do. Um, and then <clears throat> we also have this update on the possible Federal Reserve Bank Charter. Um, this guy says. Uh, previously in November, if you searched the Federal Reserve site and looked at the H2A list, you would see this. Um, let's click on this real quick. Um, here is SoFi Technologies, obviously on this list. Um, and then, however, at some point from then to today, when searching this website, SoFi is gone. Um, so they're not currently on this list, at least according to this one Reddit, Reddit person. Um, what is the H2A list? Um, what I don't know what he has here. So the H2A release lists all applications and notices that have been filed or will be filed shortly with the Federal Reserve System under the Bank Holding Company Act, the Change in Bank Control Act, the Home Owners Loan Act, and Regulations YLLMM, for which a notice has been sent to the Federal Register. The H2A briefly describes the proposal, identifies a reserve bank that is processing the proposal, and lists the date for the expiration of the Federal register comment period now i when i was looking at this i think it says the date that it expires right yeah i don't know the end of the comment period was april 22nd 2021 so um i don't know exactly how much this actually means because it seems like the period was supposed to end in april of 2021 anyway um and in this guy, but this guy says it still said that in november so um i don't know that'd be kind of weird um but as you can see so if i did fall in the section of law three which deals with mergers and acquisitions which makes sense as they acquired uh gpb the key part is in the faq go to this link and look at the last question the answer you will see that uh, one of the reasons why someone might be deleted from the H2A list is also once the system has acted on a proposal, it will be deleted from the H2A. Thus, the assumption is the Federal Reserve has acted upon SoFi proposal and it is complete. But as you know, the government is tricky and at the end of the day, um, your guess is as good as ours, just very encouraging. So 
um, you know, this is at least one person saying that, you know, he, with the evidence he's come up with, which I don't really totally understand. Maybe I just don't understand this. Maybe I'm dumb or maybe um, he is not uh, really explaining it well, or, or maybe he's just overthinking or something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, this guy is saying that it is possible uh, that maybe the, obviously the Federal Reserve has acted upon their the bank charter um, and, and things are being processed and things are being pushed through and that maybe SoFi will have a very, very big announcement coming soon. I do think there are a lot of signs pointing in that direction no matter what. I don't know if this is necessarily the best evidence of it, but um, maybe you guys understand this better than me. Maybe it makes more sense to you and, and maybe you can make better sense of it. But um, either way, you know, I think there is a lot of good potential news for SoFi coming in the future and it's going to be very, very interesting and exciting uh, to kind of cover and, and watch that all come out and unfold. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. If I drop a like, if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about SoFi stock, S-O-F-I. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.